it's Erica back on the Crossy Market YouTube channel and today uh, I'm actually going to be recreating a um well just a card but something out of these two so this is um these are two cards that I recently posted a reel for on my own Instagram and they it got a lot of good response so I thought you know what I'm going to reproduce this but instead of using Pink Fresh inks, uh, this is a Pink Fresh set, I'm actually going to be using ink on three inks. So I'm going to be laying these out and showing you which ones I'm going to use. And I have also, I pre-heat uh, embossed the gorgeous Chrysanthemum Slimline image here. And so this set has got a, a stamp and it's a huge stamp. It also has layering stencils and a coordinating die cut. So lots of fun goodies. And uh, as you can see, you know, this is a, like, if you have the whole thing, you can make a slimline card quite easily. But I have actually trimmed off this little bud here to make them kind of more, I mean, they are a little bit bigger than they two, and you're probably going to need a bigger envelope. But I, um, I left a little leaf kind of hanging over to be kind of a little bit sassy. So... We are going to reproduce these and uh, I'm going to show you like just how to kind of make this sort of like Lisa Frank neon goodiness. So um, yeah, we're going to get our uh, already heat embossed stamp set out and then we are going to grab the layering stencils. Now there are four stencils in this pack and uh, we're going to have to kind of swap back and forth a few times because we're going to want to get that like the whole rainbow look up and down and um, some of the I mean just the first two pieces are the stem and the flower uh, the whole thing and then the second two layers are actually to like add in little bits and pieces. Now if you looked at these two here on this one I have used both uh, all, four, all four layers to kind of get a little bit of depth and dimension here and on this one I have just done the first two layers to get that color down and I'm I keep debating on which one I like the most but I don't think I can actually pick one it kind of like oh but I really like this one with the white um uh, but I also really like this one with the solid hot foil plate uh in the background so we shall see. But anyway, we are going to uh, to recreate these uh, colors. We're going to be using ink on three inks. So the yellow is called Beasting Yellow. And the orange is called Marigold Orange. And then we have Sweet Petunia Pink. Then we have Jam Purple, or My Jam Purple even. Uh, Peacock Blue, Trinity Teal, and Goddess Green. So we're going to... Uh, line these up in the order that we are going to be using them and actually that's not going to work we're going to do it this way okay so not not all the inks are going to show uh in the screen at the same time but i will i'm making my best to show you the colors that i use so i'm going to be using some blender brushes and i'm going to start with the goddess green and also i do need the layering stencils so we are going to start with this one this is a uh, stencil one and it has the the leaf and the stem and the, the the little leaf and the stem at the top as well so what we're going to do first of all though is we're going to put down a little bit of washi tape on the back of this to make sure that we use that with our layering stencils so I put the washi tape on the back of the actual cardstock because then you just pick up your stencil when you finish with it and you move on to the next one rather than having to tape down each and every stencil. So here we're going to line this up. As mentioned, this is a goddess green and I've made little labels here for the side of them as well. So we're going to dabby 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 dab and then we're going to tap off the excess on the lid so that if we need a softer soft color then you just go to the lid rather than the ink pad and then we're going to go from the bottom and up and i always go in circular motions because i just there's no real reason for this really i, I just i tried you know up and down and i feel like a round one is more it's easier on my wrist and i just i feel like i get really good smooth results from that so 
yeah, that's that's why I do it. Now we're not going to put the lid on this just yet because we're actually going to move on to our next color. But we're going to want to keep that out for uh, in case we need to blend the colors a little bit more. Right. So we're going to tap, 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 and then tap, 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 tap. And then we're going to go over where it's kind of slightly paler, but not completely white. So we're going to get a nice, rich, deep color here. I'm going to make sure that I'm actually in the shot as well. And here, because we want a rich, rich color, we're going to go quite heavy and go over like these colors blend really really well together so you don't need to worry about getting kind of like harsh marks and things like that but if you want a super super vibrant look you take your green again and you go over that line just to kind of intensify it a little bit and it also helps with your blending so you get a really smooth sort of super smooth finish now we're done with the green, so we are going to put the lid back on this and we're going to put that to the side. And then we're going to move this to the to that side and we're going to move on to our peacock blue. So we're going to do the same here. We're going to tap, 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 and then tap, 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 tap. And then we're going to go over this bit here at the top and also a little bit at the leaf here at the top. like so and if you hear some rushing noise i'm really sorry but the wind is crazy today here so yeah it's not good now the reason we uh, put the the washi tape on the panel instead of on the stencil so you can just peel this off when you finish and we're going to pop that down and then we're going to swap over because we are one of our colors are actually going to continue here. So we're going to have to go back to our uh, Trinity Teal and also a maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit of green just to kind of get that smooth, smooth finish. So I'll tell you what, we are actually going to go a little bit green right at the bottom here. There we go. Not a lot, just a little bit. And then we're going to go in with our Trinity tail and we're going to go right at the lower end here and this big petal here as well. So there you go, nice and opaque and vibrant. And then we're going to put that one away and we're going to continue with our blue. So we're going to tap, 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 tap. tap. And then we're going to go over this bit here and move across. Mm, this is such a gorgeous blue. I love this one. And we might, 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 might just rub whatever's left on the brush here a little bit at the bottom of that big petal there. And then uh, we are going to keep the blue out just a little bit because we're going to grab our My Jam Purple and tap, 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 tap. And we're going to go right over the soft edge here and kapow, look at that color. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, yes, so good. Now, I don't think... No, it doesn't actually need any. Those two blended together like butter. Yeah. And then we're going to move on to our, uh, um, my sweet petunia. Oh, sorry. It's, yeah, sweet petunia pink. And uh, we're going to go heavy here. Oh, this brush is very, very dry. I'm going to need to use another one. Yeah. Tap, tap, tap. And ooh, look at that pink. we might need a little bit of a blend like so just to I might go into that color there 
and then I think we'll have to leave that one out because we might need a little bit more. Now here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to start with the yellow because uh, so we're going to move downwards instead of upwards. So to make sure that we get some yellow in. So this is beasting yellow and rub it up, it up, it up, and then tap, tap, tap. And right at the top here. So we're going to add quite a lot of yellow because then we're going to drag that orange in and make them blend together. Ooh, yeah. Yummy, yummy. And that a bit of marigold orange. Oops. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, look at those colors. So good. Oh, so good. Mm. All right, so because we have kind of not run out of colors, we, um, we're we actually going to go back and we're going to use the first stencil again. So we're going to finish off that leaf at the top. And we're going to go just yellow on those ones. Maybe a tad green. Or, no, probably just yellow. Because we are going to chop that bit off anyway if we're going to make another a2 card anyway so here we're just going to add what was left on the brush to kind of soften it out maybe a little bit right at the bottom there to get that nice ombre effect there we go okay so that is the ink blending done isn't that vibrant and gorgeous okay as usual a curveball I realized, you know what, we're not going to reproduce those. We are going to reproduce the color scheme. Yes. However, we're going to make this a slimline card. So I'm going to get the stencils out and I'm going to finish off this a little bit here because we are actually going to use that whole thing for our card. So we're going to add a little bit more yellow and then just a little bit of green at the top here. So it's kind of like full circle and maybe a little bit of there we go. And then we're going to take our second stencil and we're going to make this quite nice and green, I think. So a little bit of goddess green out again. And this time I'm just holding it in place because I, uh, I already took the tape off. So there we go. Oh, that's a nice big pow, isn't it? Okay, now I'm going to use the uh, coordinating die cut on this and then we're going to finish this card off. So I've used the coordinating die cut to cut this uh, luscious flower out. And while I had my die cutting machine out, I also used the Wonderlust Slimline Meraki Paradise to cut out a background. So we are not going to foil today. We are going to use uh, this fantastic one. And I'm going to poke out some of these holes, but I'm going to try to keep some of them in as well. And uh, then we're going to finish this off with a sentiment and that will be the card done. And here we have our finished card. So I finished it off with a stamp set from the Hug in a Mug set. And I've also finished it off with a little bit of bling from this gorgeous Meraki Sparkle Golden Illusion mix. So they come in a variety of sizes and I love that. So yeah, here is the card and I hope it makes you happy. So that is it for me for today. But thank you so much for stopping by today. Don't forget to subscribe to the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Give us a comment if you liked it. And we really hope that we will see you soon again. But that is it from me for today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.